Ah, there you are. A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the big one. Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms, and we are here we are for a very, very, very busy program. John Hanlon, dink you do, welcome to you, sir. Lovely to have you with us. Jack Morris and David Gardner are joining us as we speak. Scotty McClue live just for you, saying dink you do. Scott Beadle's watching, lovely to have you, Scott, and John Hanlon says dink you do. David says tell ten to tell ten. Tell a thousand to tell a thousand, David. And and Jackie Johnson's watching. Welcome, 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 I say, guys. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we are live for one hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations of the world. Make sure you spread the word. Hi, Scotty. We share the same birthday. How fabulous is that? We are Geminis, one of the finest signs you could ever get. And uh, Jack Morris says hello from the Lang Tun. The Lang Tun is Kirkcaldy. Uh, Kirkcaldy and Fife, I'll tell you. You have to sup with a Lang Spoon when you're supping with Fifers. Uh, Fraser McDuff, Edward Caden, or Cadden. And uh, Sam and Biggin, loving your show. You're the top bloke. Thank you very much. What a week it's been. I have so much to tell you. Good evening, Scotty. This is Steve Burrows. And uh, Johnny Barrett's there as well. Johnny Barrett. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Spread the word. Make sure everybody knows that Scotty McClure is live. We will have a cracker of a program. A humdinger of a program. How marvellous is that? Excellent stuff. Now... Um, lots to talk about tonight. Hurricanes. Some people are saying they are acts of God. <coughs> is this true? Do you believe that God is angry and is causing the hurricanes? Erica Meyer, a very good morning, Scotty, from Australia. Good to have a very wise man on. I thank you, Tommy Cochran, James Kelly, Charles Lennon, Graham Bett, Andrew Mackay, Barry Henderson, and Sharon Holmes says, Evening, my friend. Evening to you, Sharon Holmes. Lovely to have you with us live on the Scotty McClue Show. Now, if you've got any suggestions for improving the show, apart from me not doing it, of course, um, do please tell us. Very, very, very important. If you've got any suggestions, that would be welcome, because this is show number 47. 47 wonderful shows. There's also been two or three, it's probably around 50, there's been two or three uh, little extra ones, especially when we're broadcasting from a secret location that I couldn't tell you about. Shout out to me, says Jonathan Scott Donegan. Evening, Scotty, says Andrew Mackay. Keith Wotherspoon's watching. Scotty, you never answered me, says James Kelly. What did you ask, James? I didn't see it. Louis Faber, I'd like to see some guests coming on. Yes, good idea, Louis. When we get some money in and get some cameras, you wouldn't believe the petty, petty, petty people who go, what's the, what's the money for then, Scotty? All that stuff. Uh, an act of God, as a term insurance companies used to say, to, that they ain't paying out says David Fraser. Excellent, David. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Quality broadcasting just for you. Uh, yes, mine is Answer Me, says James Kelly. Yes, James, I will answer you. What was your question? My cousin is in a certain theme park in Florida. Send prayers her way, says Angie Thompson. Angie, we are delighted so to do. We will do that for you. Anything that helps these poor souls in Florida. Hello, Scotty, says Daniel Joss. Dave Hemsley is watching. From, uh, from the Midlands. So there you are. James Forbes, Robert Knapp, and uh, Andy Hughes says, Good evening. Good evening to you, Andy. Lovely to have you with us on the Scotty McClue Show. Just for you. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment, as I say, not just for one nation, but for all nations. Hurricanes, an act of nature, not God. So there you are. So God has not done it. We do not have an angry God, Ian. We have a kind, loving God. And it's nature that has caused the hurricanes. Right, we'll go for that one. John Donnelly says, hello. Hello, John. Mind the film Billy Connolly tried to sue God? Yes, I watched it. The man who sued God. Set in Australia, wasn't it? Australia, Melbourne. Uh, it's man-made chemicals controlling the weather says Karen Baird. So there we are. Are you talking about greenhouse gases, Karen? Where do they get the names of the hurricanes, Scotty? Says Daniel Joss. 
I don't know, Daniel. Very, very strange. Uh, give us a laugh like the old days, Scott, about being on benefits and everything, says Sharon Holmes. I know, Sharon. I'd like my phones back. We're wanting to... Uh, I've got a GoFundMe account running in the hope that we can afford to uh, get some phones on the go. That would be good. Uh, if we keep beating the earth, uh, it will fight back and win, says Ian Walker. Very, very profound, Ian. It's uh, alphabetical order, says Louis Faber. Uh, what is Louis? Yes, um, oh yes, the hurricane names. Yes, uh, it was in Melbourne, I think, says Erica Meyer. Yes, that's right. They filmed it in Melbourne. Amazing that. The Man Who Sued God, starring the wonderful Billy Connolly. Chemtrails are sprayed in the sky by the government, says Karen Beard. Karen, why on earth? Would the government spread chemtrails in the sky? And what would they be for? What would they be supposed to be doing? That would be great. I'll donate to your page just now, says Sharon Holmes. Thank you, Sharon. Very much appreciated. GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Hi, Scotty, says Shani Brown. Shani Brown, welcome, welcome. We see your name popping up. Lovely to have you with us. I listen to Mr. Bezik every evening, Scotty. What's your opinion on his evening phone in, says John Hanlon. I've only heard it once, John, but I'm sure it'll be very good. Alan Bezik, he was one of my predecessors on one of the uh, radio stations, Red Rose Radio in Lancashire. And Alan was an uh, absolute legend. Massive, massive. Tremendous broadcaster, of course. Very, very funny. Uh, William Renfrew is watching Dinky. Uh, Alejandro Castifianda Hernandez. Have I said it right? You are watching. How man marvellous to have you, Alessandro Castaneda Hernandez. So there you are. Castaneda. Castaneda. Yes, yes. See, si, see, si, see. Si. Hello from Paisley, says Peter Ewing. Loving the bonnet, Scotty. Yes, the bonnet's back tonight. Uh, by popular demand, I hasten to add. Uh, Johnny Barrett, it's an act of God. Why does he always pick the same area to vent his anger? I don't know. We'll have to look into that. Uh, dinky doo to you tonight, Scotty from Five, says Stephen Jewett. Yes, Stephen, dinky doo, rinky dinky doo. Hi, Scotty, hope you're well. Enjoying your broadcast, says Daniel Watt. I thank you, Daniel. I've had quite a week of it. I got uh, verbally attacked on Facebook by a lot of women. So there you are, because all I'd said was that we had to be very careful that we didn't disrespect the royal family or Indiref would suffer. And I got this stream of invective, foul-mouthed women on swearing uh, and the rest of it. I think I might ask Facebook to ban swearers. If anybody swears on Facebook, just ban them. So there we are. Uh, a big hello from Tenerife. Hola. Hola, Ali Black. And uh, Ian says, Ireland had a famous hurricane. Alex Hurricane Higgins. Oh, good one. Marvellous, marvellous snooker player. I remember introducing him when I worked for ITV. I introduced the snooker nationally on ITV. Gordon Sterling's watching. Good stuff. Gordon Irvin's watching. Good evening, Scott. This is Jacqueline Kelly. And uh, what do you think about what's happening in Korea? says Erica Meyer. I think he's just doing a bit of a standoff. I think he's testing the water. I think he's actually a very, very clever man. So don't be fooled um, that this man is a dafty and the rest of the world is entirely sane. Um, I think he's very, very smart and um, he's just keeping an eye, but he has to watch that he knows exactly where the lines are. So the lines are not crossed. Uh, Margaret says hi, Margaret Costello. Hello, Margaret. Uh, the point, we have homeless people, the fact we're funding the royals and the forces are underfunded to many young women that are left behind. So there you are, no limbs, homeless, no royals. And um, Right, let's just dispel all the myths about the royal family, right? People are using foul words about them and being very, very rude. They don't live in any huge life of luxury. The palaces are owned by us, the public, the royals curate them for us. I wouldn't thank you to be living in one of these palaces. If you've ever lived in a palace or a castle, and I've been a guest in palaces and castles, they are very, very cold. So there we are. They did do their best to make us comfortable. Who done it? The man in the bonnet. A woman in Florida said there's a hurricane on the way. 
Uh, don't worry, there isn't. That's what, <laughs> yes, I remember the certain, a certain weather forecaster on the television said there wasn't to be a hurricane. We shan't go into that, poor thing. Uh, bite me, mate. I never said anything rude, says James Kerry. No, but a lot of people did, particularly women. I was appalled at the number of foul-mouthed women they were watching. And one has actually uh, told lies, lies about me, because um, she's an anti-royalist. So she thought she'd tell lies about me. If somebody's got a different opinion, we should respect that. What happened to free speech? So they were. And the Independence Brigade are the ones who advocate free speech most. So there you are. So come on. They're also hardworking people, says Steve Burroughs. Hello, Scotty. You're right. Very cold. Uh, not cold here, says Ali Black. I'm sure it's not. Dina the Doug. Where's my change? Now, Dina the Doug. I can't thank you enough for a very, very, very generous donation to Scotty McClue's GoFundMe account. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was almost shocked and floored when I thought that poor love has given away so much of his income. So there you are. Very much appreciated. I thought you were yes, says James Kelly. I am yes. I want independence for Scotland, but I am not party political. I'm not even really particularly political. And when I said to these people, they were so thick, they couldn't actually understand the concept that if we don't have the royal family with us, the head of state with us, independence will not happen. And they can't get that round their, their silly, silly minds. Um, you should respect other Scotty instead of making bold statements about people. Wait a minute, Donald Thompson. I didn't make any bold statements about anyone. What I said was, if we don't respect the royals, then we are not true Scots. They are our head of state. They are sovereign in the United Kingdom at the moment and will be sovereign when Scotland gains its independence. But if you have people like that going on about the royals in such terms, Scotland will never gain its independence. Right? And no amount of... Uh, Empty silly threats from you will change that. It's not actually to do with me. It's to do with you guys. So there we go. Uh, you patching me, says Steph McAvaney. No, Steph. Of course we're not patching you, Lala. Uh, say the man that says the man that called the people small-minded for not liking the royals. Robert Bain. Anybody that doesn't like the royals is small-minded. Yes, tiny, 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 tiny mind. Okay, so there we are. Must share the wisdom of my fortune cookie. Doing what you like is freedom. Liking what you do is happiness. Sunday is for the old Chinese carry out, says David Fraser. Dinky do to you, David Fraser. A lot of sense being talked on there. Um, I never threatened anyone. There you go again with your bold statements. Wendy, would you just listen? Stop being so precious. You need to have a much much, much thicker skin if you're hoping to take Scotland to independence. So there you go. You have a lot more than me to contend with. And I'm telling you that now. I am just sifting out the sort of quizzling characters in the movement. The vote for our independence was rigged. The Queen would not allow it at the last minute, says Karen Baird. Karen, it was nothing to do with the Queen. The Queen is apolitical. So there we are. But we do need her blessing and we do need her on side. It is her parliament. And remember, the First Minister's warrants come from Her Majesty the Queen. So these sort of low lives that were dissing the Queen, they need to think again. Uh, right, Craig Johnson's watching Dinky Doo, a very, very fine broadcaster. Lovely to have you with us. You said I threatened. No, empty internet threats, Wendy. You're not actually listening to me. You're jumping ahead there, jumping down my throat. You need to realize I'm on side with you. I am the litmus test. All right? But I, I don't expect to be insulted. So there are Marie Milne's watching. So she should be. She's got quite a lot to say for herself. There are bigger issues than the royals. We don't need us, says James Kelly. James, you're not listening to me. Watch my lips. We need the royals. We need them on side for independence, otherwise you can forget it. So there you go. All the myths and lies that I've been reading about the royals, not true. So there we are, they don't take, they give. All right, April May Thompson's watching, so she should be. 
She's our queen, says David Ganson. Quite right, David. She is the queen of all of us. And there is no connection between independence and Her Majesty the Queen. The union of the crowns and the monarchy is a Scottish institution, so should be respected by every Scot, right? Every Scot. Uh, the monarchy, 1603, the union of the crowns. We're not splitting the crowns. We're talking about splitting the parliaments because Scotland wants to do its own administration because it said 310 years have been robbed blind by Westminster. So there you are. Glad to see Scotty, the genius McClure's back on air. Love you, Scotty, says Stephen Short. Dinky do, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. We need the royals, says Jane Garden. Jane Garden, I've never heard so much talked, so much sense talked, and so much talked sensibly in my life. God save the Queen, says Keith Anderson. Absolutely. No, we don't, says James Kelly. What have you done to serve the crown of Scotland? All of us have served the crown of Scotland. Very, very important. So there you are. It goes back thousands of years. Uh, so there we are. Women don't seem to wear shiny tights nowadays, Scotty. Um, just ripped jeans for class now. Yes, I said to a woman what had happened to her jeans had she fallen. And what a look she threw me. It was at a posh party. Hi, Scotty. Evening. Dinky do. Pleasure as always, says Robert Devlin. Robert Devlin, lovely to meet you again yesterday. You are an absolute gentleman, a real top man. If Adam Dales tells you otherwise, you refer them directly to me. Uh, John Rogers is watching. So, Dinky do, John. Welcome, 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 I say. Uh, what's so special about a special fish supper? says Robert Bain. It's done in breadcrumbs, Robert, and you get a slice of lemon with it. And uh, I'm sure we'll get other information. We've got some top fr uh, fish fryers watching right now, and they will tell us what is what. What is so special about a special fish supper? So there we are. Uh, the only royals I like are the ones with uh, tobacco in them, says Ian Walker. Ian, you are a disgrace. You need to learn and learn and learn and learn and learn and listen and listen and listen to Scotty McClure. That's another thing. The level of ignorance I've experienced in the last couple of days has absolutely appalled and shocked me. I couldn't believe how little people knew about the royals. There we are. If they knew all about them, they wouldn't come out with that. Uh, Albert Pitty is the best friar, says Robert Devlin. Yes, I would agree with that. An excellent friar. Um, so there we are. I remember going into a village chip shop, and it was run by the monastery. And uh, I said to the first guy, excuse me, who are you? And he said, I am the chipmunk. I said, aha. And then I said to the senior man, and who are you? He said, I am the friar. Right. Um, you never answer my question, Scotty. What have you done? James Kelly, I have worked tirelessly for independence. And you're very, very lucky to have celebrity support. So less of the cheeking up, I would say to you. There we are. Uh, Shireen Makeup Arts is on saying hi. Uh, Peter Ewing is saying Queen of Scots. Absolutely. She is the Queen of Scots. Uh, Scotty says Paul French. Dinky do Paul. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, and you're wondering who on earth this is sitting up on Facebook, Facebook Live, we uh, go live at 10 o'clock sharp every Sunday evening. 10 o'clock sharp, live on Facebook Live. I am Scotty McClue. I am the world's top broadcaster, and I'm also officially the first lord of the internet. What about that, then? So there you are. I'm the village idiot, said you, John Hanlon. No, you're not, John. You mustn't think that of yourself. Rab Bruce is watching. Excellent, Rab. With a name like Bruce, you must be related to our former king, Scotland's queen, and we love her, says Dave Ganson. Absolutely. I mean to serve the crown, says James Kelly. Aha! Yes, you will never know what I've done to serve the crown, James Kelly, because I would not be so base as to reveal that publicly. Mm-hmm. There you are. Ha-ha. <laughs> Mum's the word. Hi, Scotty from Dumfries. Oh, you're a Dunhamer, Robert Rogerson. Fay Dumfries. Fay Dumfries, son. Absolutely. I used to listen to you on Scott FM, says Paul. Yes, everybody did. That was Scotland's finest hour. One of the finest radio stations that the whole country has ever had. And certainly the finest radio station Scotland's ever had was Scott FM. 50% speech, 50% music. Top, top, top songs, top presenters, big personalities, running 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 
for the whole of central Scotland, 2.2 million people. And now, where has it gone? Where are the people? Uh, yes, you are the number one. I always learn something when I listen to you, says Erica. Erica, I am learning all the time. I am a student of life. This is like a party political broadcast from old Lizzie herself. Remember, if it was from old Lizzie, there would be nothing political about it, and there would be no party. So, wrong, 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 wrong. Um, were you not setting up Go Radio, Scotty? No, I was invited to appear on Go Radio, John. But uh, I never heard any more about it. Louise Sullivan says, Hi, Scotty. Hi, Louise. Dinky do. Brilliant show. Number one, says Andy Hughes. We are the people, says Keith Anderson. Yes, you are the people. And this is your program. I am but a catalyst, a facilitator. So there you are. Although it's the Scotty McClure show, it's the people's show. Your feedback is what matters. So there we are. When buying a fish supper, make sure the fish is wrapped separate. It tastes better, according to Nick the Chef, says Ian Walker. I can't see that the chips are going to flavour the fish too much, or even the fish flavour the chips. So there we are. More chance of that, right enough. We need a reprise of Scott FM Radio. Nowadays, a radio is automated and networked with very little cause. Mark from Central. Mark from Central, pardon me for putting my nose there. Um, get yourself on to last night's Saturday broadcast on Scotty McClue's Facebook page and have a right good look at it, the Saturday night broadcast, and uh, you'll hear me talking about radio and what I think's happening. Dino the Doug, can we have a fag break during the next share, share, share? Dino the Doug, you must give up your fags. You have given Scotty McClue all your fag money for the week. You must give them up for your health. You're an important man, do you know the dog? You are a precious child of the universe. Give up the fags. Um, Go Radio was setting up in my work and apparently eventually never got a license, says Robert Bean. Right, Robert, I see what you mean. Can we, um, what's that? Alan Humphreys is watching, welcome. And Ross Hill is watching, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching the Scotty McClure Show. We're worldwide, we are absolutely global. Now, guys, quick commercial break coming from me. Oh, by the way, if anybody wants a commercial break on here, if you want something talked up, let me know. Go to Great Yorkshire Radio, and uh, you'll see what I said about Great Yorkshire Radio, because it's one of the finest radio stations we've got. You're talking about Scott FM going there. Try Great Yorkshire Radio. That is a cracker. So there we are. Yes, I quit smoking after 25 years. Three months off them, Scotty. Absolutely good for you. I quit after 30 years, and I've had just 20 years off them. Fantastic. What do you think about the Bahamas and about the ocean disappearing, says Louise Sullivan? Not good news, Louise. Not good news, of course. The old Bahamas. Poor old Edward VIII. I wonder what he would have thought. He was the Governor General of the Bahamas during the Second World War. It's time for me to go, Scotty. Always great to listen to you. Take care. I can't wait till next time. Erica Meyer, take great care of you. You're a very, very precious lady. Look after yourself and get strong and well all the time. Dinky do from everybody in the world to you. Uh, Robert Bain says, Old Lucy's paying for your advertising. Own up. No, Robert. There is nobody paying for my advertising. Just going to have a quick sip of water. Mm. Oh, oh, that's lovely. That's lush. Um, what kind of snout do you puff, Scott? Says Ross Peebles. Sub yourself up, Ross. It's not that kind of show. Uh, Marie Mills says, Robert. Ha, 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 There we are. Very good, Marie. Marie, you better take these whoppers down that you told. Shocking. Shocking. So there you are. Uh, Scotty, are you fed up hearing about Brexit? I know I am, says Alfred James Wright. Yes, but I'll tell you what I thought tonight. I had a bit of a wizard wheeze, Alfred James Wright. And I thought to myself, um, Brexit, uh, you know, when it comes off, if it comes off, they could cancel it at any time at all by just sending an email to Europe and saying, look, we've all been a wee bit silly. Uh, we sold it to our public on Duff Gen. It should be null and void. We should rerun the... Um, we should rerun the uh, vote and uh, see the referendum, rerun that, 
and had to think of the word there. Uh, rerun the referendum and uh, do it with facts this time. Tell the truth. And maybe even keep some of the politicians out of it. So there you are. You should donate to my squadron then, Scotty, says James Kelly. Absolutely. We salute your squadron, James Kelly. If you're one of Her Majesty's servants and uh, you are uh, in, the, uh, in the armed forces, we salute you and we thank you for what you are doing. Take great care of yourself. Uh, where's your top lip? I filed it away for now. I don't need it. Um, I hope you get back on the radio soon, Scotty. I loved how many people you get angry and get them all arguing. Well, you should have been on Facebook Live this week when I suggested that if you are not pro-royal, you are not a true and proper Scot. Uh, and uh, a lot of people went bananas with foul mouths. They were an absolute disgrace. All they did was back up exactly what I was saying. These people are not proper Scots. No proper Scot would ever have a foul foul potty mouth on them like that let's think and pray for everyone in miami just now praying for the safety says tony mac good man tony very much appreciated scotty you should ask marie to do your portrait so there we are says ian walker dear knows what would come out the other end with that ian walker marie Milne, ian i'm howling she's howling Ooh! so there we go excellent stuff um, yes, it would be great to get back on the radio, but the reason for GoFundMe is to see if I can get some help with uh, getting the phones back. That's the big one. And I mean, I, as you know, have put hundreds of thousands of pounds into radio over the years. And, um, you know, I can't afford to do that at the moment. So I'm asking everybody for a wee bit of help. You see, see how it works. If you put a couple of quid in, if a thousand of you do that, I can get a piece of equipment. I can do a little bit of advertising, that sort of stuff. That's why we have it. So don't walk by on the other side of GoFundMe and go, oh, no bother with him. Away you go. We had that, uh, that woman today giving it. Oh, that's all right. Why are the people paying for it? Oh, it looks like a contribute. That's the kind of dafty that is out there walking the streets. So there we are. Aye, or she could do your death mask, says Ian Walker. Absolutely. Have you ever seen Queen Victoria's death mask? It's at other pool. There you are. You take a wee boat out and you can see it. Auction assigned bonnet. I'm in the Royal Air Force's cadets. Um, how much are you donating? How much are they donating for me? The cadets could maybe have a day for Scotty McClue to get you proper media that tells you the truth. Uh, I'm thinking of gold panning up in Helmsdale. What do you think, Captain? George, I didn't know there was gold in Hems Helmsdale. I know the place is very golden. Lovely, lovely Golspe in Helmsdale and that. They were talking about taking down the statue of the old Duke of Sutherland from Ben Braggy because he threw the Scots off his land and put sheep on instead, and they were all shipped out to America. Um, so they were in Canada. Uh, Scotty, is there a radio phone in on the horizon? Steph? Jed up, right? And I know I've been saying this for a week or two now, but there are so many discussions going on about Scotty McClue at a very, very senior level. Um, what's happening is a lot of people, this austerity stuff is political. That was just badness, real sheer badness, making everybody suffer uh, austerity, saying there was no money and everything when the place was awash with money. And um, it, it was really, really bad stuff. So even big, big companies, are saying, look, we need to get all the corporate stuff sorted, Scotty, and then we'll get you on board. So I'm meeting them on a weekly basis, and we're sitting down. They take me straight to the boardroom, uh, or, or we'll meet outside radio stations because otherwise people talk. There is this Scotty McClure. Scotty McClure is in. wonder if he's got a job here. Scotty McClure. All that sort of stuff, because they know I can make them millions of pounds. They know I can save the radio station from ignominious failure. So they just need to have a big set and come and speak to me. Uh, so they are, Marie Milne, I've never laughed so much in your life. I'll bet you have, my dear. I'm thinking, um, Scotty, uh, what's this? Do you think pubs are outprising themselves? Well, Steve, it depends. I can remember I was in Crete at one point. And uh, it was rather lovely. It was it was quite amazing because I was staying in an hotel and uh, somebody at the bar, one of my friends from London, who had a business in Water Street, big media business in Water Street, and we're at the bar, chat, chat, chatting. And he said, I, I know who you are, Sky McClough. 
And I said, how can you possibly know me? You're you're based in London with your head down in a medium. Oh, now everybody in the industry knows you. So they're giving us all this stuff, right? I said, oh, I know who you are. Anyway, the lady at the bar went to serve me first. And they went, oh, that's a yeah, favour him because he's, cause he's a, a celebrity, right? Now she's in Crete, right? So, I mean, how is she going to know? Anyway, um, she said, uh, he's, uh, yeah, he's Scotty McClue. So he was having a laugh. Anyway, next thing is, you are Scotty McClue? I said, yes, yes. And I thought, somebody's, somebody's at it here. Somebody's taking the mints. Anyway, she races off, gets the owner, and his son came down. They could not have been nicer. We are so privileged to meet you. I said, look, what's going on here? I go to Glasgow University. I have flat in Govan. I listen every night. Amazing. True story. There you are. Uh, I heard from a good source. There's a few bob if you put the work in, my friend. Don't tell everyone. Put the e York. I think that's work. Or oh, New York. If you go to New York. Um, I would definitely pay for you. And we thought Bob to have your backs as Louise. Thanks, Louise. Uh, tight, Scotty. You're at it. I can't believe you talk about the crown. Talk about kids and volunteer organisations. Tight. Off you pop. James Kelly, right? You do not know what it's like in the real world, right? You listen to Scotty McClure, and I will tell you. I talk to people every single day who are really, really struggling because of a politically motivated thing called austerity. So there we are. Scotland's had 310 years of austerity. Margaret Thatcher asset stripped Scotland and most of the north of England and the Midlands so she could take the money to London. So London owes Scotland a lot of money. So there we are. How's old Mrs. Galloway doing? Did she ever get doomed to free that roof? Says Dina the Doug. Mrs. Galloway is superb. I made you too, you know. Uh, Raj says, hello friend. Hello Raj. Where are you from, Raj? Let us know. Scotty supports the Queen, but the opposition are being mean, because the truth cannot be seen. Blind but not dumb needs to sit back on the bucket and suck his thumb, says Ian Walker. Absolutely. So there you are, Ian. No, you're not seeing the truth. Uh, you know, the royals are not uh, the kind of people that you think they are. So there you are. Very, very decent, hard-working genuine people. How many people do you know who are thinking of retiring at 96? Come on, sober up again. Raj says he's in London, dinky-doo. Bonnie, bonnie, London. So there we are. Apparently I was mentioned quite a lot this week in London. Scotty McClure in London. Ian says, lol. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. Now, if you've just joined us, folks, Scotty McClure, just for you, saying dinky do, we are live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcasting platforms. The time is coming up. Oh, share time. Share time. We're halfway through. We're past halfway through. Share, 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 share. If you can think of improvements to the program, apart from doing it out of vision and uh, having another presenter, then please do suggest to us. So there we are. Can everybody share the video? Trucking. Dinky doo, says Ron Stewart. Fantastic. Excellent, Ron. Uh, you're not. A small donation would have done. So don't give me that. What are you on about, James? Uh, a great result for the Queen's 11 yesterday. Hey, Scotty, says the Ross Peebles. <laughs> I wish the Royal Family well, but does not liking the Royal Family make you less of a Scottish person? Not at all, Tony Mac. The monarchy is a Scottish institution, right? We gave the rest of the UK its first proper monarch. It's first united monarch. James the Sixth of Scotland became James the First of the United Kingdom. All right, James the First of Britain. We didn't have Northern Ireland then. The six counties had not been annexed from Ireland. So there you are. So Northern Ireland was not regarded as a separate country. So what you had there, you had Ireland. The whole of Ireland at that time was under the British Crown, the Union of the Crowns in 1603. Nothing to do with independence at all. A distraction that the Indy people showed themselves up very, very badly. I was not proud to be a yeser and an independence person when I read the bile that flowed from some of these people because I was saying to them, steer clear of the royals. 
leave the crown alone you mess with the crown you will never ever ever be forgiven so there we are uh, people messed with the crown 250 years ago and that was the end of it that was the highland clearances tartan was taken off them everything taken away so there you are james exactly listen to me uh, your wages are they all family toilet paper scotty says kerry duncan nothing to do with it it doesn't make any difference they bring in so much money they do not take they give the royal family actually cost us just as a small levy 52 pence between 52 pence and 60 pence a year so there we are what about some phone calls or some of your music playing on your musical instrument i enjoyed that when you played it at new year I know, but I can't do the copyright stuff, so I've just got to make up a tune, Louise. That's what's got to happen. Um, exactly. Get rid of the crowns, says Marie Mill. No, Marie, that's so, so silly and so tiny, tiny, tiny minded. Watch me. This is your mind. This is independence, right? Your mind is going to spoil this lot. Ruin it. Finish. End of. Will never be heard of again. Leave the crown alone it is scottish it brings in money it helps us all we need the royals on side if we're thinking about independence don't mess with the crown leave it alone look upon it as a distraction okay that was what i was doing i was testing you a lot out and the bile and everything i got you just proved my point you made scotty mcclue 100 percent right and that's not always the strongest position to be in. So there we are. I was listening to some of your videos on YouTube. And I was LMAO. You're full of wind. You're a fart. I loved it. Says Andrew Mackay. Yes. If you get on to Scotty McClue. www.youtube.com forward slash Scotty McClue 1. Or oh, sorry. User. So www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue or one word 1. Did you know that the gold on this planet came from space, says George Raffin. Is that right, George? Do tell us more. I am not highly up on the origins of gold. I never ever mind admitting if I don't know something, because I can always learn. As you know, I'm something of a polymath. So there we are. Right, let's have another share. Share, 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 share. Tell everybody, tell ten, tell ten, tell ten, tell ten about Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live the world's top broadcast platform in front of your eyes with the world's top talk show right now. Dinky do. Scotty, you're not getting a knighthood. You're trying hard. I don't need a knighthood. So there we are. I have a birth certificate. That's enough for me. The new Robert the Bruce film. You might have got a knighthood. Robert the Bruce went AWOL in Tarbot in Argyll and the Isthmus of Tarbot and he was starving. He was hiding from the English soldiers and he was absolutely starving. And uh, a goat came and she had milk, she had kid, and uh, she let him suckle her milk. And after that, he said, goats must roam free in Scotland. So in parts of rural Scotland, you'll see goats on the road. Do look after them. How much money does the royal family bring into Scotland? And how many jobs do they create? I'm not sure, Stony Mac. They employ over 1,000 people in the royal household. And um, they come to Scotland uh, on a whole variety of things. They open the Queensferry Crossing, which is fabulous, with the Queen there at, uh, what is she, 92, and Prince Philip joining her, who's recently retired, at 96. And she was opening that crossing in the name of her predecessor, Queen Margaret. Uh, so there we are. Marie Milne says, not a very nice man, Wendy. Who's she talking about there? Peter Martin's watching. Dinky do, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Maz Hastings, of course. Uh, we've not to have opinions, says Marie Milne. No, I am apparently not to have opinions, Marie Milne, according to you. So there we are. Some of your stuff's not opinion as well. They're a wee bit naughty. Uh, you will be in the gold then, says Gary Duncan. A thousand is too many, says Gary Duncan. No, not at all. These are jobs for people. A thousand people. There's somebody watching here. And uh, I know that a member of his family uh, is in a very senior position with the royal household. So don't, uh, don't be saying that job creation is not a good thing. It's no problem. And they bring in so much money that, as I say, it's only pennies. So there you are. So there's no taking off anybody. So there we are. And then people were going on. They were going, uh, James Kelly says you could donate 10% to 
to the Legion for the Poppy Appeal. Well, I put a lot of money into the Poppy Appeal. Anyway, James, so there you are. Um, I met Wolfgang in Asda. So Steph McIlvenny. Wolfgang, what a top man. Wolfgang is wonderful. Uh, no, Scott, it's not about our options. It's about you being smart with yours. When about Don Thompson? Nothing smart. I don't try and be smart. I only answer some of the cheek. You see, I think you think that you can be rude to me, but I've not to say anything back. I'm like one of Her Majesty's guardsmen. You can go and wave in front of my eyes, and I'm not supposed to react. No chance, lovey. So there you are. David Ike said they're all the lizards. Well, yes, I've interviewed David, and I've spoken with him at length on radio stations. The moon is an old alien craft, but did you know he's... Exp this explains everything. Ian, I've spoken to David, right? I don't go along with a lot of the stuff. Some of his stuff is interesting. That's what I'll say to you. Hello, Sasha Scott Dempsey. Hello, Scott. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. No, Scott, it's not about our opinions, says Ryan. I've said to you, Wendy, it is, uh, it's supposed to be two way traffic. So there we are. God save our queen, says Ron Stewart. Dinky do, Ron. Lovely to have you with us. Was everybody singing God Save the Queen last night, the last night of the proms? The BBC's last night of the proms. They usually have um, William Blake's Jerusalem. They have Land of Hope and Glory. They have Auld Lang Syne. And they have God Save the Queen. And uh, there we are. So uh, see what you like. Uh, block the door and the doubters, Scotty, says Steve Burris. Yes, I will, because these people are not good for Indy Ref. If you're against Scotty McClure, or if you're against the Royal Family, sorry, I'll put that the right way around. If you're against the Royal Family, or you're against Scotty McClure, you are not a true Scot, you are a doubter. So there we are. No wonder the old codger can retire from duties at 95. Give him a 12 hour shift five days a week for 40 years doing hard physical labor. Kerry Duncan. He's done that. That man, right, he served in the Royal Navy, so they don't muck about. And then he has been consort to our Queen for uh, 65 years. So there we are. He's been married to the Queen for uh, 70 years. Is that right? 70 years married. Yes, 47. A year before my parents. Uh, being a student, I think academics think they're always right. They're not. I don't think academics can accept anyone disagreeing with them. What do you think? Well, any good academic, I mean, I am an academic, and um, I will argue the point with you, but I will also happily accept a clever student telling me um, if I've got something wrong. I mean, I had a friend doing uh, a doctorate uh, recently, and um, I said to them, look, just make sure that you've got somebody good at the university who can mark that for you. He let me read some of his stuff, and I said, this is very, very advanced stuff. Uh, you know, so just make sure that you've got somebody that can actually mark it. Fly me to Danoon. Let me roam among the stars. George Raffin, absolutely. I saw you down at the old Calmax. I can remember the talisman, George. Do you remember the talisman? 1935, she was not the PS talisman. She was a paddle steamer. She was the DEPV talisman. Do you know what that stands for? Let me know and we'll start a bit of chaff. So there you are. Is the Queen on DLA? Is the Dean of the Dog? No, she's not Dean of the Dog. Uh, she's not on any benefit. She doesn't take from you or I, apart from the 52 pence a year. Nice picture in the background, Scotty. Is that your old man? Which one are you looking at? Uh, wait to see. No, that's me. And there's the thistle of Scotland. And there's yes, that's me as well. So there you go. There we are. Yes, there we are. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. That's right. That's right. Right. Uh, there we go. So where did we get to? Uh, no, then says. James Kelly, James, we don't know what you're on about. So there you are. I think you're trying to get yourself mentioned. I think I'm going to start ignoring you. Ben Fazakali, Dinky do, Scotty, an hour isn't enough of the famous bonnet. Would you consider doing a two-hour show? Well, oh, I think a two-hour show would be a lot, James. I noticed, though, that the actual Facebook video was up around the 15,000 mark. I think that's rather good. Uh, 15, 16,000. Uh, that's rather good. And then, of course... It goes out during the week and then it goes around. We had uh, 150,000 on Twitter, 54,000 during the show. Marvellous. I mean, radio stations, television stations, 
don't get these kind of ratings. They are fantastic. What did you graduate in, says David Fraser. So there you are. Aha! I will let you know. Arts. Arts, David. Uh, nice Black Lab. Yes, that was old Lord Reith, called after the founder of the BBC. Uh, excellent stuff. Steph Corrupt is watching. Hello, Steph. Uh, wh what kind of name is Corrupt? Is it from uh, is it from Middle uh, Middle Europe, Eastern Europe? One big family, says Ron Stewart. We are one big family. Ian Walker says he graduated in cheese. Cheese making, I wish I had. That would be marvellous. I'd be running a cheese factory just for you, Ian Walker. Tremendous stuff. Excellent. Right, so guys, if you're a true Scot, if you're a member of the Yes Movement, if you seek independence, make sure the royal family has your full backing 100%. If you disagree with Scotty McClure, there's no need to swear. There's no need to um, pour bile out of your potty mouth. Any of that stuff. So there you are. Uh, the people that I've actually blocked for swearing, as soon as I see a swear word in something, I tend to block the person. So there you are. So let that be a lesson. Uh, my dad always worked very hard, 12-hour shifts every day, a lorry driver. What was the Queen's hardest shift? She gets up about 5.30 in the morning and uh, she maybe gets to bed about midnight the next night, Tony. So there we are. That would be her shift. You don't realise just how hard these people work. Um, off on the train to Manchester and then having to smile and all the rest of it. Uh, what's that one? Hi, Scotty. All the years in the Royal Navy drinking from rummy. I'd need to come home to a wife that does provide nothing but a speech once a year. Uh, would need to drink from that too. Probs. <laughs> so I've not been paying much attention the night. My mind's on my family caught in the storm. Has Mr. Fox been back since Andy Thompson? Mr. Fox was back. I didn't have my camera, but Mr. Fox was feasting six inches away from me. There you go. Looking quite relaxed. Scotty, did you see in the news last week that the Rough Guide readers would have voted Scotland the most beautiful country in the world? I did Gordon Robertson. In fact, I forwarded it on social media. So there you are. Wendy McDonald Thompson, you're having a laugh, Scotty. If you don't agree with us, you don't need to slate us. No, Wendy McDonald Thompson. The slating was started by you. So there we are. And to one of your own, you were slating a celebrity contribution to the Yes campaign. Somebody who might not be political, but believes in Scottish independence. And then I had to put up with all that bile. Oh. So there we go. Um, to be fair, Scotty, you are class, says Kerry Duncan. Thanks, Kerry. What a lovely thing to say. You're class too, my dear. Um, I think we have the best parliament, the first minister and monarch in the world, says Gordon Robertson. Gordon Robertson, you are due a hug. So there you are. That is a wonderful, wonderful thing to say. The world would like to give you a hug. The Scottish Parliament, the Scottish First Minister, and Her Majesty the Queen. Absolute perfection. I would go to that party. So there we are. I am a true Scot, uh, and uh, I've ate an outsider, broke toffee on the pavement, and I've uh, nicked a bus. The Rolls haven't done that, so they're not Scottish. Arrest my case. Yes, <laughs> arrest. <laughs> I think so. LMAO, uh, Wendy McDonald Thompson says. So there we are. She was trying to be a wee bit uh, sus today, Wendy McDonald Thompson. Weren't you? you were going, oh, I'll be on your head. Uh -huh. mm, all that kind of nonsense. Uh, Scotty, we need a bigger platform, says Steph McAvinney. Steph, I've said it for years and years and years. We need to be across all platforms. One of the meetings in the near future is about that. How do we get Scotty McClue out to everybody in the world all the time so when the programme comes up, everybody sees it? And uh, please correct me. No donation. Oh, James, come on. Donate something. GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Glad to have you back, Scotty. You're coming back on radio, says Kerry. I would love to, Kerry. Yes, it'd be great to go back on the radio. I'd love to get the phones back. But to be honest with you, I'm actually bigger now on social media than I ever was on radio or television. Shows you the power of social media. Absolutely incredible. I go out to millions every week. And if you think, if you have a, a radio station, say for Central Scotland, 2.2 million. If you have a radio station for the northwest of England, 5.2 million. If you have a radio station for central London, um, you know, eight, 10 million, that sort of thing. Greater London, 12 million. 
So these are very, very small beer compared to the internet. We just need to get this out there. Tremendous. So there we are. Tribe, says Wendy McDonald Thomas. What is your tribe, Wendy? And do you, uh, do you paint up? Do you have war paint on? And that sort of stuff in your tribe. Uh, Scott, you're an idiot for making your statement. No, you see, Wendy, this is nonsense. You need to start respecting somebody like me who's giving you celebrity status, who's actually paying you attention. You're so far with your heads up your own backsides, you're missing the point. You're going to round there saying, and then we'll know of the royals when we get independence. Independence is not going to happen until you start to wise up and see the bigger picture. Then it could happen. Once it gets royal backing, Woo! The sky's the limit. All that, so there we are. Autocorrect is doing my nothing. It does everybody's nothing. That's why I'd rather communicate like this than all that typing. My fingers are just about raw typing to you lot today. A disgrace. Do you think the Queen drinks iron brew? Says Kevin Whibley. Now, I don't know. I would need to have a look and see uh, if iron brew is by royal appointment, you know, has a royal warrant by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, suppliers of aerated waters, things like that. So there you are. Some companies have got that. And my grandfather ran a lemonade factory. So, um, you know, I, uh, I I know about these things. Tremendous stuff. But um, Iron Brew, certainly, the main brands in Scotland, and you'll love this, are um, Iron Brew, Tunnock's Caramel Wafers, Radio Clyde, and Scotty McClure. These are Scotland's biggest brands. How's about that? Mmm. Excellent. Scotty, did you vote yes or no for Brecon? Says Gordon Robertson. Well, I'm not telling you how I vote. Uh, so there we are. I wouldn't give you a fiver before a homeless person. I wouldn't even um, put... What was that stuff, says James? James, I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do with you, lad. If you just give me a second, what I'm going to do, James, I'm going to block you so you'll never, ever, ever be part of any of our programs again. You're now going to miss out big time. Right, say cheerio to James Kelly, everyone, because he's gone. There you are, that's him. You'll never, ever hear of James Kelly on this program again. Gone. Finished. There we are. He was, he, he was starting to talk filth. There we are. And we don't like filth because it lets Scots down. Any swearing, any bile lets the Scots down. So there we are. So James Kelly has gone. Uh, Kelly Duncan uh, laughing. So there we go. Uh, Daniel Watts. No, I don't think so. There we are. It's interesting. I'm just looking at where James's thing was. And um, it's, uh, it's very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, yes, it's just a shadow. It's just gone to a shadow. How amazing is that? What's the time? Oh my goodness! We're past our share point. Get sharing, everybody. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live big style. Scotty McClure live big style on Facebook Live. The world's top broadcast platform. Can everybody share, 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 share. And who have we got? Kevin Wibley says, Wahoo! Well, who to you, Kevin Wibley? Absolutely. Excellent stuff. And uh, Effin and Jeffin, dear, 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 you're quite right. Uh, you know, we get enough of it in daily life and we get enough of it around the place. It needs to stop. And the Scotty McClue Show, what I used to do when I had the Scotty McClue Forum and Scotty McClue's website, www.scottyhyphenmcclue.com, over 10 million people on it. And we had a fabulous forum going, which is actually, we don't do it now because it's been overtaken by social media, by Facebook and by Twitter and by Instagram and all these wonderful platforms. Uh, so thank God James is gone. Let's get back to normal. Absolutely. I could not agree with you more. So people are that potty mouthed idiots, half witted idiots. Off, off, off. Gone, gone, gone. Bye. So there we are. Uh, so if anybody knows James Kelly, you can tell him from me he's gone because he's just a wee potty mouth. Right, uh, now, uh, have you typed in I'm watching Scotty McClure on Facebook Live right now? Because we've only got a bit of the program to go. The whole of the world is watching and we do not want anyone to miss out. As soon as this program's finished, guys, 
share it, share it, share it. And it's lovely of you. I love when I see in my notifications, 105 people have liked your program. Please could 105 people like and share. So when I look at the notifications, it says 105 people have shared your program. Thank you. All it does, you just click share. Uh, don't find of it. Uh, those of you that watch the um, the periscopes on Twitter, just click retweet. So there you go. That's all we're asking for. Uh, right, what have we got here? Dinky do. Lots and lots of you on here. Tremendous stuff. Uh, Gordon Robertson, sorry. Yes and no. And uh, John Hanlon saying dinky do. Marvelous. Bye bye, James. Says John, yeah, James needs to learn his lesson. If you cheek up to Scotty McClue, eventually you go. All right. My patience runs out and you go. And I'm a very, very patient man. But I cannot tolerate idiots. And I'm afraid that this week I've had to put up with too many idiots. So there we are. Dinner the dog. Bye, James Kelly. Bye, James Kelly says bye bye to everybody. James is saying bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, James, there we are. Uh, Dean of the Dog, what a top man. Thank you again. Scotty, please get mobile for this show. We must get the. What more are you saying to me? What more are you saying to me? Come on, talk, 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 talk to me. Uh, Scotty, what do you think of the, the tweet by George Fawkes? So there we are. I'll have a look at it. Yes, I'll have a look at it. Dingy do, James, says David Fraser. Absolutely. Do you think the Royals are watching Scotty on one's Facebook? I wouldn't uh, know. Actually, I don't know about their social media habits, but it certainly wouldn't do any harm for anyone, including our royal family, our heads of state, to be watching Scotty McClue. You'll never go amiss. You're watching, ma'am. Scotty McClue, ma'am. So there we are. Um, I'm English, Scotty, says Kevin Wibley. Nothing wrong with that, Kevin. I've done a lot of work in English. Uh, wish he was James the Last, says John Roger. Uh, hi, Ron. So I'm paying attention. I'm worried about my cousin and her hubby and daughter in Florida, says Angie Thompson. Angie, we send you lots of love to everybody in Florida. If you're watching in Florida right now and um, you're uh, able to tell us Please drop us just even a couple of words and say what's what. Put a song on. We can't play songs. You did vote yes for independence, I assume, says Gordon Robertson. Gordon, have a listen to Scotty McClue on independence. Put that into your YouTube when the program's finished and uh, you'll get your education there, la. Oh my goodness, we're slowing down. There's so many people watching. Amazing. Absolutely. Shared. 39 people watching, says Michael McCabe. Yes, that goes up and down. What we've got from uh, the program before, uh, we ended up with about 6,000 and the one before that, about 15,000. So don't worry about any of that. It's gone so fast, I have to go to bed now. It's a great show, Scotty. Keep up the good works and night, says we Sullivan. Night, night. Mm -hmm. You take care of yourself. Uh, Ken McCallion, McNamenamin. Lol, 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 lol. Michael McCabe, 39, 38. I'm at 56 in front of me right now. So there you go. And uh, Scotty, how do I donate to Steph? You go on to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. And that's all you need to do. And it's there. It's fantastic. Nice hat there, sir. If you prefer PayPal, go on to Scotty McClue's website, wwwscotty McClue.com. You'll see the two logos. You will see one for PayPal and you will see one for GoFundMe. The PayPal one does extremely well. The GoFundMe can always do a little bit better. But I am very, 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 very grateful to everybody who has given anything. It's very, very much appreciated. And how do I say this name? Kane McCallion McMenamin. Kane McCallion McMenamin. What a fabulous name. I love it. So there we are. George Raffin. James, get back in the bus. You can't keep the court waiting. <laughs> James was a nice guy. Just because you didn't agree with him, you should donate to Royal Air Force Connects, says Jacqueline Kelly. Jacqueline, I don't mind, but James had a potty mouth at the end. Read his post and see how proud you are of him then. Mm-hmm. You know, we look at that, Jackie. 
a Steve Burroughs and a talented man, Scotty. Thank you. Three strikes and you're out, says John Rogers. Yes, John, I have got one of the greatest uh, and longest fuses in the business, but I will not tolerate idiots to that degree. They should know where the line is and don't cross the line. So, excellent. Well, I need a passport to Scotland gain independence. These are the details we don't actually want. See, I'm not political. I couldn't tell you anything about the SNP or about party. Well, I know my history, obviously. A red flag in the wind. But, I mean, it was a lot more than a lot of you people have done. Flag in the wind, John McCormick, the man that built the whole thing up, nearly beggared himself doing so. Marvellous, marvellous man. And Neil McCormick, Professor Neil McCormick, the late Neil McCormick, Another marvellous man. So there we are. Um, I think I should come into the live feed on our birthday, Scotty. How good would that be, says John. Dinky, do. Thinking of you, Angie, says Ron. We all are, Angie. We are all with you. If anybody's in Florida right now, and uh, I'm sure social media will be one of the things, maybe the furthest from your mind, but having said that, communication, very, very, very important. <coughs> A lot of reporters there uh, do feel to come on the Scotty McClure Show. And say what's what. Scotty, please give a huge dinky do for the staff at Easter House Medical Centre and the Southern General who really looked after me in the last 48 hours. Easter House Medical Centre, Southern General Hospital, we salute every single one of you. The nurses, the doctors, the porters, the car park attendants, the receptionists, the consultants, the junior doctors. All you wonderful, wonderful people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From Scotty McClue and from the universe. Uh, where is Scotty, says Tom Doherty. I am here. Are we going to get a tune in the box, says Gordon Robertson. I don't think we will tonight, Gordon, because we're very tight for time. Ah, it's jumped again. Why should I donate to you, says Michael McCabe. Well, Michael... That's up to your conscience whether or not you want to donate to me. Nobody's forcing you to donate anything. Read the briefs. Watch the videos. Watch the programme. See if you want to develop an independent media for Scotland. Scotland has no media or very little media that is owned and run by Scottish people. Okay? So have that in your mind, then examine. I'm only asking for a couple of quid, a five or a tenner. If you can't spare that, or it's too much for you, don't bother. It is not a problem. There's plenty of other people out there. Yes? So there we are. I don't want you to give anything in a mean state of mind. I want you to give willingly and happily. I want you to say, Scotty McClure has entertained me on and off. For 25 years, maybe more off than on, maybe more on than off. He's entertained me. He's accepted applause or derision on the merits of his broadcasting. All right? And I can spare him two pounds or five pounds or ten pounds. Somebody put in a hundred pounds. So it's entirely up to you. But if you are feeling mean-minded, you think, oh, I'm not giving in to him. Don't bother. It's not a problem. What would be lovely, though, even if you've not got any money, is to go on and like the stuff and share it on Twitter and Facebook. That would be great. Uh, so there we are. I has jumped again. So there you are. If you're going to donate, guys, that would be fantastic. And uh, what you need to do is go on to GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue or one word. Fantastic. Uh, Ken McCallie and McMenamin, a good Irishman I am. Are you from the south or are you from the north? That's what we're asking you. So there you go. What about you there, Ken McCallie and McMenamin? Best broadcaster ever, says Ross Clark McClure. God bless you, Scotty, says Stephen Burt McDowell. Dinky do to you. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us. Tremendous stuff. Used to listen to you in Scott FM. I find it hilarious. Um, Peter, I bet he buys a bucky. <laughs> Make your way to Star Norway. Of course, absolutely lovely stuff. Lovely. Uh, I'd love to be in Florida like now with my saltire kite, says Ian Walker. Well, we'll see about that, Ian. We don't know what's coming for the poor Floridians. Um, Ian Walker is no even funny, says Angie Thompson. That's no even funny. Angie, I agree. 
I used to listen to you as a kid on Scott FM. Used to find it hilarious. Get a mobile phone. We'd love to phone you again. Me and Kerry Duncan will tune in every Sunday night now. Says Paul McCurry. Paul McCurry. I say dinky do to you. Ben Fazakali. So there we are. Tremendous stuff. Um, donate for what? Says Chloe Hamilton. Donate to Scotty McClue to build up the Scotty McClue shows, Chloe. Get a little bit of advertising on Facebook. Things like that. Get some equipment. Get some phones. Get a little mixer for the telephones. All that stuff. If everybody puts in a couple of quid and a hundred of you do that, hey, bingo! Uh, I'm no mean. I'm asking why I should make my donation to you. Why not a fresh face? What about... We Chantel. Her banter was funny earlier. I'd rather find her on the stage. You go and see Chantel. I don't know anything about Chantel. I only know that she was cheeking up to me. And when I gave her a tiny, 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 tiny little bob back, she just went to pieces. So there you are. And uh, lol, says Ian Walker. So there we are. Michael McCabe, you donate to who you want. Not a problem, but if anybody wants to donate to Scotty McClue, please feel to do feel free to do so also can you get yourself on this is very very important can you get yourselves on to scotty mcclure's youtube channel and um, also if you can subscribe to that that would be great if you're a business person you want to join me on linkedin feel free to do that as well that is just simply not a problem i'll probably pop up in periscope on twitter uh, just after this program we'll do that um, what have we got? Do you like iPhones, says Andrew Stevenson? Yes, I do. Scott FM, when, says Chloe. Chloe, Scott FM was 1994 till 1997. That was me. I came on in December 94 and uh, February 97. And we think there was some sort of strange jiggery pokery going on. Why would you get rid of your striker? when he's uh, scoring and scoring and scoring for you. Nearly lights out, says Ian Walker. Scott FM closed down years ago. Yes, it did, Andrew. You're quite right. Became something else. Is Wolfgang coming back? I hope so, Steph. We'll open up the phone, see what we can do. Andre Elizabeth Lucy McLaughlin says hello from California. I say hello to you in California. I hope you're okay in California. What is the situation there? McClure, how are you, says Neil Mills Jr. Are you getting the new iPhone 8, says Andrew Stevenson. Only if you lot donate enough money for McClure to get the iPhone 8. And then we'll open it up for the public to ring. Pop up on Periscope at Fastlane, Scotty. Uh, and you'll get arrested. Very good, Ian. What a hoot. What fresh hell is this, says Pedro Mendez. Pedro Mendez, si, si, si. Are you from Madrid? Are you from Barcelona? So there we are. Scotty, lovely to see you again. You've been missed, says Jean McDury. Lovely to see you, Jean. Scotty, where's the machine? You'll need to see then. This is brilliant. I used to listen, says Peter Martin. dinky do, Peter. Lovely to have you with us. Are you the Peter Martin? I say. Wow, that makes me feel old that long ago. It's weird. I still remember some of the folk you cut off. So do I, David Fraser. I remember the outrage you caused on your first night at Scott FM. Gordon Robertson, you're quite right. We did indeed cause outrage, and it went on for almost three years but we're very nearly quarter of a million people watching every single night well listening i should say in those days watching now and listening then you did not read my messages says kane mccallie and mcnaminen i will read them where is bam bam tommy the commie says neil mills i have not heard hide nor hear not a peep from tommy the commie they are. You are a weapon, says David Campbell. Well, I'm certainly very sharp, David, so there we are. Don't get too close. Uh, do you get my point? <laughs> right, uh, Lynn K is watching Dinky Doo, Lynn. Lovely to have you with us. We need to finish soon. Finley Patterson, scroll up. It's a long message. John Toms is watching. Very fine businessman. Dinky Doo to you, John Toms. Lovely to have you with us. You finished Scott FM a year before I was born, says Chloe Hamilton. In that case, Chloe, it's unlikely you would have heard me. So there we are. Had it just been a few months before you were born, you may have heard me uh, along with your mum. Who knows? Uh, so there we are. It's all happening. Very, 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 very busy tonight. Uh, Scotty, I heard your doorbell. If you can't pay, they'll take it away. Don't answer the door. What about big Ella Free Bothwell? Yes, yes, Ella, Ella. So there we are. Uh, I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of you, Scotty. Your YouTube stuff is nuts. Says Paul McCulley. Ha, 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 ha. Michael McCabe, dinky, dinky do, dinky do. Donate, says Michael. Good for you, Michael. Donate away. There you are. You'll get me. GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty 
hyphen McClure. Uh, the Big Goose is open. Excellent stuff. So Steve McLeese. Okay, Steve, are you getting out soon? Do let us know. And uh, ha ha, my dad used to listen to Scott FM while driving his lorry. He remembers you. Uh, I'm in Northern Ireland. Do you see the point of us being in the UK or Scotland for the same reason? Kane McCanny and McMiniman, I would quite like to see why doesn't Northern Ireland join up with Scotland? So there you are. Come and join us. Uh, you're on Facebook now, please. Yes, I'm on Facebook right now, Anna. No problem at all. How's about Scotty McClure Convention at the second? Says Gordon Robertson. Absolutely. Neil Mills Jr. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty, you have a royal humph. Uh, remember, we joy the budge. Yes, I do. The SECC, says Gordon Robertson. Right, would all of you come to the SECC to see Scotty McClure live? Do tell. I volunteered at Sunny Govan Radio. Being on the radio is a great buzz. Massive respect, Scotty. William McCracken, I will probably have heard you. I used to put Sunny Govan on on a Sunday afternoon. And uh, I would uh, have a wee dance to myself in the kitchen. Fantastic stuff. So there we, we like Sunny Govan Radio. Feeling old, Scotty. Many people have not heard of Scott FM. I know, but it was Scotland's finest radio hour. I can tell you that for nothing. We are going to have to go, guys. We're way, way, way over time. Scotty, lots of love. Legend from Sean Petey. Sean Petey, dinky-doo. From me, Scotty McClue. Guys, thank you for watching. I know the stacks of you still there, but I do have to dash. Have a great, great, great evening. Have a lovely week. Dinky doo from Scotty McClure. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody of Wheater Zane or of War and a Cheery O. Scotty McClure has left the building. Good night, Angie Thompson. Uh, good luck to you, John Hanlon. Cheers, Peter Martin, Dinky Doo. Uh, and all of you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Ta -ra, loves, Dinky Doo. Scotty McClure has left the building. Honestly, straight up, straight up, I'm telling you, Brexit.